Good afternoon. Welcome to the daily devotional from First Presbyterian Church. The Gospel of Matthew tells us that after he had been tested in the wilderness, Jesus goes all over Galilee teaching and healing. Massive crowds come to hear him and be healed by him. Seeing the crowds, Jesus goes on up to the mountain to preach and his disciples gathered around him. This Sermon on the Mount were some of Jesus' core teachings. I'll read to you from Matthew beginning at chapter 5, verse 3. This is the word of God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Billy Graham asks, what does Jesus, why does Jesus say that we should be pure in heart? The reason is because our heart, our inner being, is the root of all of our actions. From our hearts come our motives, our desires, our goals, our emotions. If our hearts aren't right, our actions won't be either. Kim, Tim Keller says it this way, what you truly believe in your heart will determine your actions. Jesus says in Mark chapter seven that from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, and foolishness. Graham says, not a pretty picture. He goes on to say that God wants to give us a pure heart. And he will. He does this, first of all, when we turn to Christ in repentance and faith. For the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. That's 1 John 1, 7. God also purifies our hearts day by day as we submit to the Holy Spirit and, with his help, flee from evil and seek what is good. So it is very true to say, as Jesus did, blessed are the pure in heart. Pray with me, please. Oh God, give us pure hearts, hearts to worship you, to show your love to others, to do your work. You know our hearts, Lord, and you want to love us until they are pure. In your son's name we pray, amen. Have a healthy and happy day. God bless you.